the on and off screen connection between Ed Asner and Mary Tyler Moore. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, 1970 77, starred Mary Tyler Moore as Mary Richards, a single woman in Minneapolis working as an associate producer in television news. A central focus of the series was the complicated relationship between Richards and her boss, news director Lou Grant. Grant, portrayed by Ed Asner, could be tough and critical, but his softer side peeked through as he mentored Richards. Moore and Asner are famously linked by these two roles, yet their connection encompasses other aspects of their professional and personal lives. Asner's audition for Grant left Moore unsure if he was right for the role. It took a series of lucky breaks for Asner to land the role of Grant on the Mary Tyler Moore show. The actor had little comedy work on his resume but he was still invited to try out for the part. After his initial audition proved to be less than stellar, he asked for and received a second chance to deliver his lines, which was much more successful than his first attempt. However, Asner revealed that his delivery once again wobbled when he was brought in to test with Moore. When I came back to read with Mary, Alan and Jim, our two producers in attendance, I read the scene with her like a man possessed, thinking I was duplicating my earlier reading for them without Mary, Asner told The Hollywood Reporter in 2017. Asner's less than perfect performance made Moore wonder if he was really the right choice for the role. However, the show's producers reassured her, that's your Lou Grant. Asner and Moore first officially met during his audition to play Grant, but their chemistry was evident from the first episode. When Grant says to Richards, you've got spunk, she reacts with pride before he bursts her bubble with the declaration, I hate spunk. Asner talked about the exchange in a 2001 interview with NPR. It was the most powerful moment in the theater I've ever had because she played it so beautifully. Asner learned from Moore's approach to work. Moore had found fame and won an Emmy Award for her work on The Dick Van Dyke Show in the 1960s. Though Asner had worked steadily as an actor for years, in 1970 Moore was the unquestioned star of the new series. Not only was it named in her honor, but the show was also overseen by her production company, MTM Enterprises. However, Moore was a team player. Asner praised her generosity as an actress. I can't say I ever take the measure of most stars of TV shows, but she was quite willing to stay in the background and give the star turn to whoever had that moment in the show, be it a permanent